Aloha, everybody, and welcome to a very special YouTube Live with Ashley. Ashley just warmed my heart when she sent us her testimony on how her life has changed, um, particularly, I think, getting off medications really just um, made my heart sing. I think that's everybody, you know, lo losing weight is great, but when we can actually change people's health and get off medication, it just really, oh, man, it makes the fact that we work all the time worth it we love it though we love these testimonies so ashley welcome to the channel thank you so much for having me so, so where are you located i'm in south carolina south carolina oh, okay. awesome well why don't you just tell us your background and yeah what like, your life was like before yeah start with you know prior to keto prior to finding all of this what was it like what was you know, life, what life, you eating? what conditions and, yeah. you know, health issues did you have? That kind of thing. Okay. So, um, before 2022, so, you know, anytime before that I was, um, 335 pounds for a, a long time and I was absolutely miserable. Um, I had a lot of pain, just, I could not move. I could not keep up with my children. Mm. Um, it was, it was just miserable, a miserable life honestly. And, um, so I was on three blood pressure medicines a day, but it was two different kinds of, of blood pressure medicine. And, um, one I had to take in the morning and at night. So it was three pills a day and one cholesterol pill. Um, and I was just not liking all the having to take so many medications. Yeah. Um, yeah. How high was your blood pressure? Um, it was, I know, over uh, 80 on the bottom. I know it was over 80 on the bottom. But now I'm on no medication at all, and it stays well below 60. Like, awesome. I mean, it, wow. it's like right at 60 around there. Oh, wow. the and I can't really remember the numbers, though. I'm not good okay. at numbers. Even though yeah, I'm a math been... teacher, yeah, I should know numbers, but I can't remember those. <laughs> No, so so it was over eighty on three medications. It was yes. still over eighty. Yes, wow. on wow. three medications, yeah. it was still over eighty on the bottom. And, yes, and now with no medications, you're you're below sixty. Yeah, like right, right at sixty Amazing. on the bottom. Mm -hmm. oh, and well, it's usually nice. around one twelve over sixty right now. Yeah, perfect. Nice. That's awesome. Awesome. So, um, we're uh, just a quick question. Uh, I'm just curious. Were you a big cook prior to this lifestyle? No, actually, I was terrible in the kitchen. And we would eat out almost every day. Um, I, I did not like to cook. I couldn't cook very great. So I just went and got takeout a lot. Mm -hmm. so, what made you want to change? Um, well, I, it was just not a healthy lifestyle. And I have two young boys. I wanted yeah. to um, get them on a healthier lifestyle as well. Now I haven't really transitioned them fully on keto yet. And like your boys, you know how they eat mm -hmm. all of that. I would love to have mine do that. And that's my goal. <laughs> and they just don't one, have a choice. Yeah. I know. I know, but I am working on their healthy yeah, lifestyle. That's good. How old are they? I have a nine and a five-year-old. Oh, yep. Start now. I mean, they don't have a car. They don't have any money. Like, yeah. exactly. you know, they don't do the shopping. Of course, so. there's always school, but you do what you can at home and yeah, exactly. educating them too, because there's times that our kids will have something that's not great for them. Yeah. But then it's a teaching moment when they say, oh, I really don't My feel good. Hurts, yeah. So, you know. and no, it's a teaching yeah. moment and they like to be fast and strong and, you know. Mm. Absolutely. I'm, I'm working I, on that too. Yeah. I think that more than anything, that's the biggest key for kids is to educate them on food. You know, we, we spend so much time on their education, which is important on sports, you know, taking and running around to sports or activities. or activities or, you know, dance, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And yet most parents don't spend any time with their kids teaching them about food or how to cook or how to cook or, yeah. you know, and these are life skills that will be so helpful down yeah. the road. And um, before I could not, you know, play on the playground with my kids. I um, couldn't swing in the swing. I was too big. I couldn't slide down the slide, but now I do all of that with them. That's awesome. And you've lost a total of 145 pounds. Is that correct? A little bit more than that right now, but yeah. yes, 147. Yeah. Is your mom, Deborah Amazing. Turner? Yes. 
Oh, she's watching. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> That's awesome. She's so, a big supporter of mine. Is she the one that told you about keto or how'd you find it? No. So um, my husband had been doing a low calorie diet and he was losing like crazy because you know how men, they just lose yeah. and they don't even try. So yeah. I couldn't do the low calorie because I've actually tried that before and I gained it all back. So mm -hmm. I didn't want to go that route this time. I did a lot of research and I found about keto and I wanted to explore that. Now, the keto that I started is not the keto yeah. I'm doing now. And I yeah, wanted to talk, you know, that. talk about that, especially because that's a big deal. Um, I did dirty, lazy, whatever you call it, keto. Anything I could find in a store that said keto friendly, it mm. would come home with me. Yeah. And now I don't I just run away from those things in the <laughs> store. I've learned. And thanks to y'all. Yeah. Oh, well, so <laughs> Did you have some initial success with that dirty type and then it kind of stalled or didn't work exactly. anymore? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Did you get off any medication on dirty keto? I did a, a few. Um, I got off of maybe, I went down to about uh, two, uh, I went down from three pills to two pills a day That's and bad. then, you know, two to one. And then yeah. on clean keto, I finally got off of everything. Yeah. But, no, like, um, I think that's okay, though. I like that you're being open because some everybody's life is a journey. If somebody told me when I was 16 that you can only eat meat, I wouldn't even have even tried, right? Yes. But it's just, it's gradual and your diet will change. And every year you learn more things and striving to become a better person is what it's all about. So I like that you're being honest and open about, you know, the dirty keto did take you so far, but oh, then yeah. you wanted more. Absolutely. And when I stalled, after I had done dirty keto for about a year or so, a year and a half. Um, and I, I stalled for, I did it for a year and a half and I stalled for that half of the year. I did not lose any weight for half of a year. Mm -hmm. So I finally, I, a coworker gave me a book. Um, Aw, uh -huh. thank you. From a thrift store. Oh, that he had, at, um, and he had given me that book at, and I just set it on my bookshelf for probably about a year. And then I didn't know anything about it. Um, one day I saw a Facebook reel of someone making some delicious cinnamon rolls. I wonder who that was. <laughs> Maria. Guilty. My yes. favorite. And that was the first reel I ever saw. Now, Aww. I recognized the name from the reel and I was like, that sounds familiar. So I ran to my bookshelf and I had had the answers all along for a whole year and I didn't even know. So it was serendipity. Oh, that's awesome. Absolutely. Well, so I Ashley, started whatever books you don't have, um, I want you to, you have our email, send us your address because I'll send you all of them and a new copy of that quick and easy one because you would deserve better than a thrift one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That's wonderful. I would love that. So after we're done, after we're done, we yeah, can you just send that, that over. <clears throat> yeah. So um, let's talk a little bit then about the transition from dirty keto to what, you know, we promote, which is, you know, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily like the dirty versus whatever term. It's more of a, you know, we promote something that is more of a lifestyle that will Absolutely. you know last you forever magazines and, call it ultra keto yeah <laughs> and it's just whole foods you know not processed stuff and uh just the right kinds it's of the ingredients way keto used to be 20 years ago before all the junk came out <laughs> yeah you're right yeah before there were any keto products yeah. well so, but were you scared to cook or like what what kind of kept you from doing it before so i just had never really was a great cook i cooked but it wasn't that great I started cooking your recipes and I have not failed at all. Yay, like my good. husband thinks that I, you know, am a wizard in the kitchen. Like he went to culinary school. <laughs> right. He, he loves every recipe I've ever wow. made of yours. And he does awesome. keto with me also. And nice. So, so he switched that, from the low calorie to keto. Yes, he did. And he cool. broke his style when he did that nice. too. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. That's what's so amazing about her and her recipes. She gets so many people inspired and makes it easy to get back in the kitchen and start Absolutely. cooking again. And it's always going to be the healthiest Aww. way. Thank you. Um, 
So let's talk a little more then about, so you, you made this transition and you started eating this way. So what kind of improvements did you see once you started eating how fast? this way? Yeah. Um, well, I consistently lose weight. So that's a really great, um, that helps. Yeah, that's, that's really great. But just my overall health. And like I said, I can go and be with my boys. Uh, I can run around with them. I can play with them. That makes all the difference. I just feel better. Not as it, not any inflammation anymore. No, yeah. That's awesome. That's why ingredients matter, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we, Absolutely. there's so many people that, you know, we, we get, I wouldn't, I guess I'd call it kind of strict about ingredients because you know, there's certain ingredients that we know will still inflame you or cause problems, but are considered keto or, you know, low enough carb for certain things. Yeah, people like to call, you know, the keto police. However, uh, you can eat whatever you want, but I like to educate people because they'll say, oh, I tried keto, didn't work for me. And then I just like to say, well, X, Y, and Z is what a lot of people do wrong, like chalk zero. I think they mm. were dropping their name a lot, but it's true, you know, ingredients do matter and we're not the police. We just like to educate and help people feel and, the best that they can. Yeah. And when I um, was transitioning to your, you know, way of doing keto like that, um, it took a little while. I couldn't jump head first into it. I did a lot of research and you have so much information on your blog and your website you. and your videos. They helped me so much. Um, Thank you. you know, researching about that, learning how to read those nutrition labels, that helped me out tremendously. Oh, good, good. That's the thing. Like we understand everybody's in a different situation. Yeah. And we, I, we had a time where we, you know, lost our house and had to sell our cars. We had nothing. And so the library is a great place to get all of my books <laughs> from. And it's yeah. a win-win because, you know, they get a book from me and you get a book for free. Um, but also the blog, there's thousands of free recipes on there and information and giveaways. And so. this YouTube channel, I mean, it's yeah. all free information in our groups on Facebook where we do a lot of support for free. So we and, try to provide tools for everyone. Yeah. yeah. And I do keto on a budget too, because like I said before, I'm a teacher and yeah. that income, you know, isn't really that great, yeah. you know, yeah. teacher, but I do keto on a budget. So, you know, the lean proteins, whenever they're on sale, I stock up. Yeah, uh, eggs are a big staple in my house. And even yep. though the price is a little going up, it's still, you know, a good, a good thing to get. So definitely, lean I like that you said lean proteins. Maybe we should talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So what, you know, what is a typical day of food or what, what, yeah. what's a, you know, a typical day for you? For most? Um, definitely eggs. And so on my protein sparing days, it'll be like, uh, the protein pudding, you know, that's a big hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, some, I love my favorite. I don't know if y'all uh, want me to talk about my favorite uh, recipes yeah. right now. Yeah, do it. So it doesn't have to be mine. It's okay. The bourbon chicken oh. sauce. Yeah. Mm. Like just the sauce. I put it on. I'm a saucy food. girl, man. Literally <laughs> everything. And it's so good. So I will ground up any kind of lean protein or a lean beef and put that sauce with it. And it's delicious. I love that. I love that. But the reason why I mentioned like why you said lean proteins is because if somebody's jumping on here and be like, Oh, she's talking about keto and how she lost weight on keto. I thought it was high fat. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's a, another twist on keto from a lot of the traditional or mainstream these days yeah. uh, is that we focus more on protein and use fat as sort of a dial that you adjust based on your goals. So mm -hmm. your goal right now is maximize weight loss. So you dial the fat down a bit. So that's, that's a, a difference too. Yeah. Um, Are you doing the protein sparing challenge in March? Um, I haven't signed up for that yet. I haven't even read about it really yet. It's okay. Yeah. If you want to, if you want yeah. to, it's you, on. It's on me. I'll pay for it if you want to um, do it. Thank you, Maria. I'll definitely do it then. All right. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, for anybody that's on here that's listening, I'll put a link below this when we're done to uh, sign up if they want to. And I just yeah. want to throw this out there because this is so nice to read from Lola. Uh, thank you, Ashley, for sharing your life with us. Maria is the best. She's warm and friendly in person. 
a real down to earth oh, person. I, I thank you. I yeah. try. We That's all have amazing. our mistakes and everything, but you know, just try to We're give your, yeah. Trying to do the best we can here yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, so let's, uh, what, what other recipes are your favorites? Yeah. You mentioned the sauce. Is there anything else that pops to mind? The carnivore bagel, but, oh, um, yeah. I don't use a bagel. I just make it like into a, I don't know what you would call it. Loaf. A loaf. Like, yeah. yeah. A loaf. yeah. Yeah. Do you have a waffle maker? I do. Ashley, I got to tell you, I made the batter. Yeah. And I put it into, I didn't use any nutritional yeast or parm. parm I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. It's not needed. And they became light and fluffy and yeah. crispy outside. Great I'm waffle. trying that today. <laughs> that oh, recipe's coming soon. And what huh? I did is I made extra. And then when he wanted like a breakfast, I would just fry up two eggs and oh, put the I waffle back in the waffle maker and it made it nice and crispy again on the mm -hmm. outside. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, yeah. Waffles. yeah. I'm trying that really today. Good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. And especially like if your kids, you know, like slowly dabbling them, like whatever their favorite foods kind of like change that over and stuff. Um, and we'll send you the sugar free kids book. Cause that's a really, yeah, that's one of the books we'll send. It's, it's great for kids, not only for the recipes, cause you can give it to your kids, say, pick a recipe out, you know, like and we'll make it together. Cause there's some, yeah. uh, it's a great way to educate them on cooking, but also there's so many fun recipes in there for kids. I do have them. that ebook. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Awesome. Great. Awesome. It's not so the, we'll send you the print one so they can like pick out stuff, you know, but it, that's it's great. also great too for the front material. We try to put a lot of education. That's like, you know, easy cartoon, for kids yeah. to understand with cartoons yeah. and, and fun stuff. Yeah. So oh, that's good. Yeah. So I'm guessing you inspired like friends and family, maybe your mom, Deborah to kind of dabble <laughs> into keto. I don't think I've fully convinced her yet. Okay. I haven't convinced my mom either. <laughs> friends, yes. I have mm -hmm. a lot of friends messaging me. They're probably watching right now because I've hey. told them to, awesome. that I would be answering some of the questions that they had on there. Yeah. Nice. We even have people watching from Sweden right now. I mean, yeah. you well, are an inspiration to many thanks. people. Oh, yeah, thank you Monica. so much. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. Um, let's talk a little more about uh, those recipes. So you, you mentioned the bourbon sauce, the mm -hmm. protein sparing pudding, the bagels, anything yeah. else that pops to mind? Oh gosh. Um, What's your husband's favorite? Yeah. Literally anything. Wow. I'm telling <laughs> you, he thinks I am a genius in the kitchen. It's crazy. And, and it, it, it is. Everything I have made is amazing. Now the bread, I will say I had I trouble with at first. Yeah. yeah. But I've got it perfected now. <laughs> I know. And it's That's such great. a, people get frustrated because, you know, eggs aren't cheap anymore. And when it flaps, it's like, ah, oh. but at that same point, I want people like, that's why we did the videos where sometimes it won't get fluffy for me because we're in a very humid area. And if it doesn't, I just grab my pizza pans and I'm going to spread it out and make pizza crust or tortillas if it's not going to be fluffy like a bread, you know? So don't be too, yeah, you just have to be like a positive person, Ashley. Like, Ashley, you sound yeah. like a very positive person. Like, if things go bad, you're like, well, let's find a good twist on it, you know? I turn mine into the flour. Oh, yes. I love your recipe with the um, chicken patties. Yeah. When uh, you put the flour on that. Me too. Yeah. Love it. So good. Yes. So good. Very awesome. May, yeah. It, you just basically, if the, if the after you cook it, if it sinks too much mm -hmm. and you don't want to use it as bread, yeah, you dry it out. Yeah. Pop, Turn it into a powder, and yep. you got a great flour. Yep, can be exactly. added. Yeah, that's awesome. that's awesome. I love that positive attitude. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, a couple more things. Um, what else? I mean, you said that uh, once you started eating this way, um, you said it became more of a lifestyle. So can you oh, talk about that? Yes, it, this is definitely a lifestyle for me. I don't cheat. Um, I don't need to cheat. Like everything that I make of yours is satisfying. And I don't, I like, I said that before I did keto, we would go out to eat a lot. Right. Well, now mm. I hate going out to eat. Like <laughs> I hate it because I love to cook. I spend hours in the kitchen all the time. I love it though now. And I didn't love it before, but I yeah. so love to cook now. Well, it's so I don't think people realize when it comes to expense of food, mm -hmm. it's so expensive to eat out. We even did a comparison. Yeah. It's on our YouTube, like what, 15 years ago, where he took Kai to Chipotle, which was maybe three miles away. Yep. And I stayed at home with Micah and made Chipotle at home. 
and we yes, use organic beef. Yeah. And we did the price comparison and the time it took him to go pick it up and bring it home. Obviously it was like at 2 PM. So it wasn't a very busy time. He was, I think the next person in line at Chipotle. And by the time he came home, we were done eating, cleaning up and we had leftovers and it was about a third of the cost. Yeah. I know. I saw that video but, of yours. That was good. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Was I mean, a, he that, likes to go out ago, for but... the, you know, the social and our, one of our children just loves to be at restaurants and stuff. So I'll do it for them. But psh, like if I want to eat a tasty meal, I'm going to make it myself. <laughs> exactly. Same. Yeah, that's great. Because you can't like I love sauce like you do. And the sauces at restaurants are always yep. sugar. They probably have seed oils or they put some flour in it. To yeah, it even. Or, yeah. And even, you just you just don't feel as good after no, you eat those. No. So, and I'm not really actually, a saucy person, but that sauce, no, that bourbon no. sauce is, yeah. it's literally good on any meat that I've ever tried it on. And if I'm not using that, then I just, I love using mustard too, but oh, that's yeah, the only mustard. kind of sauces. Yeah. Tangy, tangy. Mustard. So you mentioned too, that, um, uh, you were a, a size for your shirt, a five X. Is that right? Yes. A five X shirt. Yeah. Now I'm down to a comfortable large, but some mediums. Yeah, some mediums. Awesome. So you, have you had fun making over your wardrobe when it comes to that? It's been very expensive, I'll tell you that. Um, well, yeah. I have, over the past, you know, two years that I've been doing keto, like I've had to buy probably four new wardrobes, you know, since then yeah. or more. So yeah. it's kind of getting a Good little problems expensive. To have. Good yeah. problems to have. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you're probably saving money on medications. Yeah. Uh, yes. Absolutely. And I'm just gonna, you know, be healthier now. And that's the key for my yeah. kids. Yeah. I'll and a lot of people it. find too that, you know, when you get off all the processed foods and stuff and eat whole foods, eggs, things, it's actually cheaper. Mm -hmm. You know, you eat, you, yes. they're so nutrient dense, you eat less, you yes. end up spending less on groceries too. Yes. That's why I, I was saying I did on a budget. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So quick, uh, another one here from Jennifer. Thank you, Maria. I've shed 20 pounds in six weeks following your keto guide. That's awesome. I'm on vacation for 10 days and have no problem sticking with my eating plan. I'll be doing awesome, the Awesome, Jennifer. Challenge. That's, and that's the thing. Like, I'm, People are like, how do you eat when you travel? It's like, I don't know. There, there's always protein. There's always protein at any restaurant. I've never had a problem. Ever. Yeah. And it, yeah. Christine chimes in as well. I hate eating out too because everything is ridiculously expensive and doesn't taste great. Christine, that's my middle name. Yeah. It's it really <laughs> is my middle name. It's weird. Yeah, it yeah. Is. It's, it's my middle name too. It that's is. My oh my gosh, name. serendipity. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> the keto girls. <laughs> and Love it's it. my mom's. My mom's middle name Aww. also. Awesome. Awesome. And here's uh, Felicia. Thank you for sharing your story. Very inspiring. I'm intimidated by the recipes and cooking. I need to keep trying feel encouraged by your story. I love that somebody gave you the quick and easy book, which yeah. was Halle Berry's favorite cookbook to begin with. Now it's the comfort foods book, but it's quick and easy. It. Like everything's very easy. Yeah. So do you worry. know what my first recipe was that I made out of that book? Oh, what it was, was it? Um, the hash browns that were made oh. with cabbage. Uh, I yep. love uh, cabbage. And you can yeah. make that in a waffle maker too. <sighs> See? You That's can. a good idea. Yeah, I know. Everything tastes better as a waffle. I mean, I'm telling you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Elizabeth says as well, it's mindset is such a big thing and support from these people is are amazing. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that positive attitude. I just wanted to touch on that too, because when someone's like, oh, Maria said I can't have any bread, I can't have any rice, and you get really depressed about it or like whiny, you're going to fail. You just are. But if you're like, huh, Maria said I could have these hash browns, but they're made different. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I like them. And you know, you're just positive about that, but that's about everything in life. You know, when someone said, Maria, you can't have your own children. Craig and I weren't like really sad about it. We're like, he, he's like, let's adopt. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. You know, let's change some children's lives. It's like everything in life, you have to kind of twist it and just Find the, positive. find the positive and guess what people are going to want to be around you when you're positive like that like right away i was like we need to have ashley on because she's just a positive girl i am yeah <laughs> i love it i love it I someone just said i made your rice yum did you try the carnivore rice yet so i just saw your video i think two days ago on that oh yeah. that looks so good i love kai's taste test on that though but i'm gonna try oh, that yeah. soon and yeah. he doesn't even like eggs 
but that gelatin, you know, and, and any sauce you put on it is going yeah. to, you know, you know, if you put that bourbon sauce on there, but, and there's no bourbon in the bourbon sauce, just telling you everybody, but um, it's awesome. Your kids are so beautiful. That's, that's thank you. Sweet. Liz. Thank that's you. So sweet. Maybe not today. I don't know. <laughs> One woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah. I think. Happens. <laughs> I can't but, believe my kids are asking me to make the chocolate pudding repeatedly. Mm. They don't know it's made from hard boiled eggs. So Tina, I don't oh, know man. if you know the story. I'm just going to tell story. this quick story. Um, do you know the story, uh, Ashley, of how the pudding came to play? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You do. Okay. okay. I mean, I don't know if I'm annoying everybody, but it's a really special, you know, memory of mine. But when we first adopted the boys, um, he you know, lost his job. We just, we didn't have any money. And I was like, okay, eggs are the cheapest food. So every day, one of our meals has to be eggs. Yep. Micah ate anything. He didn't, he was just happy yeah. to eat. Um, Kai, however, was very picky. And every way I made eggs, there's millions of ways to make eggs. He never liked anything. And so I was like, huh, I'm going to toss these hard boiled eggs into a blender. And I threw a can of coconut milk in there and a little bit of cocoa powder, some uh, natural sweetener, a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla. And I blended it up until it was really, really smooth. And I was like, oh, this is like pudding. And he loved it. <laughs> and I kept that recipe a secret for, I think, seven years before I put it into the cleanse book. Because I was like, nobody else is going to like this like us. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to make it. But I would make it into popsicles. It was like a fudge sickle because I grew up on fudge sickles. I love those. And I've got I don't know. I just... It's, it was that. like really, yeah, it's maybe your kids would like the fudge sickle idea because, yeah. you know, make everything look cute, I guess, is the trick. I have a story well, about eggs also. Can I tell us? Go for it. Okay. Yeah. So my stepdaughter, whenever she comes over to the house, she's an adult now, but she's in college. But whenever she does come over, every time she asks me, so what are you making with eggs today? <laughs> I love it. That's, that's great. And it, eggs are such a great food. I mean, they've got lots of protein, healthy fats, mm -hmm. you know, especially for kids, for their brains. There's so many vitamins and minerals, you know, they're really a, a great food and overall and uh, affordable. I know so. a lot of people ask me to make like egg free recipes because they have an allergy to eggs or they were told they have an allergy to eggs, which we can talk about. But for me, it was, it's, they, it was cheap. And I, yeah. so I experimented with eggs a lot because people don't realize how expensive it is to have recipes fail time after time. And so when people like steal, not steal, but they claim that pudding recipe as theirs, I'm like, Oh man, I, I worked so hard on that. Yeah. And I wasted like hundreds of dollars trying to create that <laughs> recipe. But also when people are told that they have an egg allergy, if it's not a stool test, think again, because if it's like a blood test or like a saliva test, or don't get me started on the, what is that? Reflexology. Reflex, <laughs> not reflexology. What is it? Uh, I don't know. That's what they, yeah, Reflex, muscle testing. Muscle testing. I mean, that's just all emotional. But anyway, if your blood tests say that you are in this like hot, you know, area that you have a lot of eggs or egg allergy, but yet you're eating a lot of eggs, you're just eating a lot of eggs. So it's in your system. Yeah. We've yeah. had people that they do the test and the things that were high were the things they were eating a lot of. And then they and changed. Then they did it. Yeah. They changed their diet and they did the test again. And the things they were eating a lot of were high again. Yeah. So it's so, good. It really just changed inaccurate. based on what you're eating. Yeah. And I don't but, yeah. have an egg allergy, but I did at one time 20 years ago have an intolerance to eggs and I would get oh, violently okay. sick after I ate them. Yeah. Now I did wow. grow out of that. That's so yeah. I'm very glad that I grew out of that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. You know, it definitely can shift but, with it a time. I was just going to say on the other end, it can show that you don't have any allergy to eggs, but yet you feel awful when you eat them. You just have to listen to, you know, your body for sure. And eggs are so versatile. Mm. I mean, come on. You got yes. pudding. You've got bread. You've got <laughs> rice. Waffles. Tortillas. tortillas. Like, Literally yeah. everything. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls. Yeah. You make so much. Lolo said, um, I read the recipe in one of your books uh, years ago. I said, no way. I see too many good reviews and I'll finally try it. I, well, yes. if you're talking about the pudding, I mean, when you see Holly Berry yeah. <laughs> on her video, I did eating it and absolutely loving it. I made it for her so. and she's like, I'm not eating this. And she like was like, no, I'm not going to eat it for a long time. And then she finally tried it. She's like, this is the best chocolate mousse ever. So. <laughs> That's a good endorsement. <laughs> uh, let's see. I just ordered a cookbook thank today. You, I'm so excited to try. Thank you. Thank Regain you. Regain control of your body. I mean, that's, that's the thing about this too is, you know, 
your weight loss is amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that should be absolutely commended, but we want to talk a lot too about regaining health and moods and moods and your energy. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think that is a big part of your story. Yes. Oh, um, go yeah. Go ahead, Maria. No, please. No, please do. Oh, well, I was going to say, um, I was going to ask about like one thing that I am having trouble with is sleep because oh. my, my son, um, my nine-year-old son it has autism and mm -hmm. with autism, mm -hmm. like, he has some issues sleeping and so that affects my sleep as well because when he's awake i'm awake and i worry about you know with my keto journey how i know sleep is needed for keto well it's needed for for everybody, everybody for everything and yeah no matter what diet you're on sleep is really important for your blood sugar uh, for loss. cravings for moods all of that um so if he wasn't around, can you stay asleep or would you still wake up? Oh, I sleep like a log. Yeah. But oh, when okay. he wakes so up. Not... Okay. Because yeah. I see that yeah. in a lot of women. Like you can fall asleep, but you're awake at 3 a.m. That's definitely, an, I, I have perfect supplements for that. Yeah. But when it comes to your son, yeah. when you address the diet, I mean, I'm not trying to nag on you, but man, the autism testimonies we have. Are, We've had I mean, some testimonies of kids that went to a whole new spectrum yeah. on the autism uh, disorder spectrum just with diet changes just with diet. and so Gluten and i, and and I think it, and i think it can very much help with sleep too so i think your best strategy would be to help him yeah to help him sleep right. you know change his diet uh and that'll help you gluten and dairy yeah. are big ones when it comes to autism and sugar i mean obviously yeah, oh, yeah. all of those and, uh, um, i I'm do want to remind everybody what's that I said, I'm going to work on that with him for sure. Well, we'll help yeah. you in any way we can too. Just reach out, you know. Um, okay. The big trick I would say for kids switching over, especially nine, you know, mine were younger, have yeah. them help. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. like I, Kai would never try scallops, but I had him make them. He, he wanted to try his creation, right? And I think that's with any kid or any adult. When you make something, you want to, and when other you're people, more invested right, in it, and other people like it, it warms your heart. You're like, Ooh, I'm, I'm good at something. Right. So what I would say is, uh, the kids book that I send you or the ebook that you have the chaffle chapter, you just have to read directions, put everything into a bowl and stir it with a fork. You don't need any equipment. And then you put it into a little chaffle maker. I think that's a really good one for kids yeah. to, you know, see that they created something beautiful. Yeah, and my nine-year-old does love to help me uh, mix things together, so that's perfect. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Good idea. There you go. Awesome. Uh, yeah, and one one note on the all the puddings. A good note, yes. Tina, that keeping it in the fridge overnight is 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 really helpful. For or them. using Butters. scrambled eggs, yeah, yeah. which you Lightly can use scrambled. if you scramble the eggs to make them into pudding. It's not so sulfur, but if you're Hard boiled eggs smell like sulfur. That's a user error. Jacques Pepin hmm. writes all about why they smell like sulfur. So. I used to make the hard boiled egg recipe and then I did switch to the scrambled and I loved yep. it so much better. Also mm -hmm. putting it into the refrigerator overnight, that helps also. So doing both of those things really works. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for chiming Definitely. in. Yes, on the kids cooking, they need to learn the skills and be excited about making food. Yeah. yeah, and and as you're doing it, you can just talk to them about the ingredients and things. Like one of the things I thought was always so in, in, uh, eye opening to me was uh, there was a uh, Jamie Oliver. Mm -hmm. uh, he did those shows about trying to tr make over kids' school lunches and yeah. stuff. And he'd go in there and he'd talk to the kids and he would show them a potato. And these kids ate French fries every day. He showed them a potato and ask them what it is. None of the kids knew. It's like, oh, wow. we need to educate our kids on what food is, you know, right. what the, you know, basic ingredients are, what they, what's in your food, you know, the vitamins and minerals, the guess what they're in the protein and the meat, not in the, you know, other stuff. So uh, that's very important, the education. But how they make them fast and smart and strong, yeah, build you know, strong muscles and yep. yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. So, well, I think we're going to wrap this up here, Ashley. We have so much fun with you and please make sure to send us your address and we'll hook you up with the challenge for sure. And then also message us if you need any help with your kids or yourself. Um, we're here for you at any time. Thank you all so much. All right. of, it course, was nice. of course.
Bye, everybody. And don't forget, on Tuesday, at the same time, we're going to talk all things women's hormones live with two experts. You're going to want to talk. Well, listen to this. Whether you're in menopause or not, you're going to want to hear this. Mahalo, awesome. everybody.